All right, we are joined on the dais by Coach Kim McNeil, Tatiana Weish, and Bobby Smith. Just a couple of notes about the game. Tatiana had ended up with 14 points, 17 rebounds, and six blocks. The six blocks is one off the tournament record uh, set by Brianna Stewart of UConn. Uh, East Carolina had 14 blocks, which is a tournament record. The previous record was 12. And these three games between these two teams have been decided by a total of five points. So, Coach, before we uh, get to questions, would you give us a brief overview of the game? Yeah. Uh, first of all, I'd um, like to give a, a, a praise to to Memphis. I thought they played extremely hard. Anytime you play a Memphis team, you know it's going to be a fight. You know, they always battle on the boards. They battle defensively. And, you know, they never give up no matter what the score is. But, you know, just extremely proud of my team, the relentless effort um, that we gave. You know, when they beat us down in Greenville, they really exploited us in the high post. And I thought Mai Mai and uh, Tati and all the post players came to play. We challenged them to protect that paint, um, to not allow them to expose us there. We, we challenged them to uh, win the battle of the paint points, and, and we did that 38 to 22. So, you know, the first half wasn't the half we were looking for, but we challenged them at halftime, and they came out and they accepted the challenge. Um, they played to win and not to lose, um, and just so proud um, of our effort. Um, this whole season obviously didn't go the way that we had expected, but you know, I knew even when we lost our two guards that we had enough to really compete in this conference. Um, and it's been an up and down year for us, but when you go into conference play, everybody's record is zero, zero. It, it doesn't matter what you've done before and it's a new season. And, and that's all we've been talking about is a new season and a new opportunity. Thank you, coach. Uh, you want to take it? Sure. Yeah, we can go right to questions on the Zoom. If you have a question on the Zoom, please use the raise hand feature. And we'll start with Patrick Mason, please. Um, Coach, you know, you, you mentioned just giving you guys a, a self a chance. You know, that second half, you guys cut it to two right out of the break. And then, you know, you do stuff what Coach loves. You know, you hit free throws down the stretch, 19 to 22. Um, you know, you set the block record. You got 16 assists. Um, I mean, how, how much was this just a team effort tonight of everyone kind of pulling together? You know, total team effort. Before we went out on the floor, you know, I called them in tight and I told them, you know, there's only a handful of people right now that believe that we can make a run in this tournament. And that's everybody in that huddle and a few people we had in the stands. I know some people have given up hope on us, um, but, you know, we have a, a a quote that we say, we all we got, we all we need. And we really did that tonight. Um, you know, I've challenged Tati, Mama, and Talia all season long um, to be the best host group in this conference. And, and when those three come to play, um, they definitely dominate and they make a huge difference. You know, I think there's been two or three games now where Tati and, Talia, Tati and Mama both have had double doubles. And they're just a force to reckon with down in that paint, defensively and offensively. And then Danae's out on the perimeter doing her thing. You know, we're very young at the point guard spot. You know, Karina and Bobby, you know, are playing positions that they haven't, they've never played before. And it's a lot on them. And I know at times they want to tell me to shut up, coach. Um, but, you know, they, they've they they've come up huge. You know, Bobby with the unbelievable steal, you know, right there with 3.3 seconds left to go. You know, I just can't say enough about the total team effort that we had tonight. Go ahead, Patrick. Um, and can you kind of maybe walk me through just the decision to, I know you subbed Bobby in too, right, right before that play. And then obviously she makes a, you know, a great play with that steal at the end. She's done it before, you know, there's been other games where she's right there at the end, come up big for us. You know, we always tell, you know, our team, our players, you know, short memory, it doesn't matter what happened before you can't control it. All you can control is what we got going ahead. You know, the, the plan was to, we had one foul to give, you know, so we wanted to try to force them as far to half court as possible and then foul. So I'm yelling at her foul foul. Then she gets to him like, oh, Bobby, go, you know. So just a really good job of her executing and, and being um, relentless and, and and understanding what we were trying to do and, and getting a steal. You know, at the end of the day, our identity is defense, you know, and, and we don't we don't want it any other way down the stretch. But for us to be on the defensive end of the defensive end of the floor um, with the opportunity to win the game. We'll go next to Wes Pruitt, please, Four Star Sports. Coach, at the beginning, you talked about Memphis and their toughness. What is it about that Memphis program that's a challenge whenever you play them? 
You know, I think Memphis is very similar to ECU. You know, nothing comes easy as a pirate. You know, everything we get, we got to work extremely hard for. You know, we normally get kids that have chip on their shoulders, you know, that, you know, maybe were overlooked in recruiting or, you know, whatever the case may be. You know, we talk about not playing pretty basketball. You know, we don't play pretty. And if you want to play pretty, then ECU is not the place for you. And I think Memphis has a similar mindset. You know, Memphis, you know, being in Memphis, just undersized post players that, you know, want to prove that, you know, they can compete against the bigger kids. They've always been very, very good on the offensive end of the floor. You know, but I think at the end of the day, you know, your team takes on the personality of your head coach. You know, that's a head coach's dream is for your team to take on your personality. I'm extremely feisty. Their coach is feisty. They've always had feisty coaches. Um, so, you know, whenever you're going to play a Memphis team, it's going to be a dogfight to the end. You can go next, Bubba Rosenbaum. Did you have a question? Yes, yeah, so this question is for Tatiana. Um, Tatiana, Coach McNeil talked about challenging the front court players. Tell us about the way you and your teammates accepted that challenge, obviously pulling down a career high, 17 rebounds, and also blocking six shots. Um, well, we know that we had to prepare. We know what happened last game. We knew what we messed up on, so we made sure we harped on it, and we got it done today. We knew we needed to get some boards because that was the problem last time, and also high post defense, so we made sure we got it done. Go back to Patrick Mason for the reflector. Um, this could be for for Bobby. I know I know you've been in this spot before. Um, I mean, th this team made a, a long run last year, so I guess I was, I was just kind of curious about your guys' mindset. You know, it's a close game, final seconds. Um, you guys seem to be able to control that moment. You know, maybe that experience helped. Um, you know, what what do you think? Um, really, at this point, it's just do or die for us. So, I mean, you just got to do what you got to do to get the win. So, I mean, um, I'm just glad my coaches trusted me to put me in the game in that position and. You know, I just saw the opportunity to go get the steal, so it, it sealed the game. You know, just keep it simple. Keep it simple. I like it. Other questions? And Coach, oh, yep, we'll go ahead to Patrick. Thanks. Yep, yeah, I, I got one more, Coach, too. Um, I know you guys just made no three-pointers tonight and still found a way to win. I mean, does that yeah. just kind of say just that you guys can find different ways to win and also just, you know, the, the post players really stepping up and kind of changing that control in that game down low? Yeah, I think in tournament play, you know, if you can defend, rebound, and share the ball, uh, you can win games. Defense and rebounding travels. You know, there are going to be nights where, you know, you're in a different, you know, that, that's a huge, really nice arena in there. And, you know, the depth perception is a little bit off. So, you know, we always talk about defending, rebounding, sharing the ball, and then the offensive end making layups and making free throws. And we did that tonight. You know, we shot 86% from the free throw line, 19 for 22. You know, that that's really, really good. So, you know, that's why we harp so much on defense because nobody can take that away from you. No matter where you are, you you can play really good defense and you can rebound the ball. And Coach, I'll make the last one. Uh, you know, this feeds you into a, a quarterfinal matchup against Tulsa. Can you just um, you know, give us your thoughts on what you expect to see tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, completely different team. <laughs> you know, completely different team. Um, a team that wants to get up and down the floor, spread you out, shoot a lot of threes, you know, try to penetrate, um, you know, get into the paint. Uh, I, I definitely think that, you know, we have the advantage inside, which I think we do every single night. Um, but once again, it's going to be a total team effort. It's going to be an up-tempo uh, style of game. Um, you know, I think that our team is confident. We beat them earlier in the season. So we obviously know we can beat them. But, you know, we got to prepare for a completely different game. But we can't change who we are. We got to defend. We got to rebound. Um, and we, we got to do a really good job of forcing them off the three-point line. Great. Thanks so much. Thank you. Coach, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.